What's going on, everybody? Albetsky 44 here. Coming at you with a quick unboxing of Journey to the Savage Planet. This is from 505 Games and Typhoon Studios. Uh, supposedly, this game's pretty good. It's a little indie title. As you can see, it costs $30 there from GameStop. It came out back in January. It has about a 76% on Metacritic right now. And it's going to be compared to the Outer Worlds and No Man's Sky, kind of a mixture between there. It's an exploration game where you play as this character, uh, and you can play co-op as well, which is pretty cool. But you go to this planet, you have to catalog, fight, and see if it's fit for for humans to live there, basically. It's kind of like a comedy-type situation. Uh, it's funny. And it's supposed to be fun. A uh, good game to stream, too, I was told. And I'm going to jump into it and give it a try. But I wanted to get a physical copy because I like the physical copies. And this was hard to get. I didn't have to go to my local game stuff. I had to go to one of the few towns over. And I only had one left. As you can see, this is the floor copy. Really hard to get. Not sure why. I guess they didn't, just didn't make a lot of copies of this for physical release. But whatever. It seems to be selling pretty well. And I'm kind of excited to get into it. So this is the cover. I know it's got that stupid sticker that GameStop puts on there. But I love the artwork. I love the colors for this one. Really cool. And then it's the back side as well. Onward to Adventure. A strange sci-fi satire of late-stage capitalism is what GameSpot said. Uh, it says, Welcome to the Pioneer Program. As the newest recruit of the Kindred Aerospace, the fourth best interstellar space exploration company, your job is to determine if planet ARY-26 is fit for humans. True, you're short on equipment or plans. You'll figure it out or not. Good luck. That's what they said. Uh, explore, fight, and catalog your findings. And that says play solo or explore together with co-op. Uh, one player, two network players, only five gigs on my play. Optional and DualShock 4. And then it is rated teen if you care about that stuff. And as a side view, it's simple white. Inside, no book or anything. But we do have the disc. Kind of an interesting disc. Uh, it's that little bird creature that's on this dude's helmet. So that's what the disc is. And yeah, there you guys have a little quick unboxing for this one. I don't know how this game's... If people have heard about this game really. Like I said, it seems to be selling well. At least for the small copies at GameStop is selling well. And then yeah. it's got a def decent score on Metacritic too. So I'm excited to give it a try. And uh, I might make some videos for this one too. If uh, the streams go well and stuff. So thank you guys for watching. As always, you can hit me up on Twitter, Elbetsky44. I'm also on Twitch, Elbetsky44. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Peace out, guys.